Good morning. Oh, Red's here. Hey, no, I just have a little bit of time before I have to get ready for my doctor's appointment. So it's not going to be as long as it usually is, but I will be I'm able to stream a little bit because I woke up earlier than I intended to. So you're welcome. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. One of the North Korean government liked your Zelda videos. Oh my gosh, Mario. <laughs> I feel like you woke up at 4 a.m. I did not, but I'm going to have to start, like, tomorrow waking up at, like, 4, 4.30. So when I woke up early, I was like, well, I guess I should just get used to it. Oh, these usernames are getting out of hand. Oh, my gosh. You had me confused for a second. I'm tired. How are you? I feel like my hair looks really long today, but I almost never wear it down also, so maybe that's it. It's also shedding like crazy. There we go. Playing Animal Crossing while watching your stream on TikTok. Nice. We're going to go green today. Where'd my glasses go? There we go. Those aren't the right ones. I woke up 10 minutes ago. It was two parties yesterday. I was so tired. Uh, thank you. I love them. We had... The ants are really bad this summer, and they're all over our kitchen, and so we spent a lot of the morning yesterday, like, de-antifying our kitchen and deep cleaning our kitchen, which was not part of the plan for yesterday originally. And, um... hair tickle in me and then we spent the afternoon with the in-laws good morning what's up watching my workout nice I'm hoping to get cleared today for hand stuff because I'm supposed to start doing Pilates and I haven't been able to do it since I've had surgery but I already paid my like sign up fee it's so hard to be yourself on this game everyone has themes I don't have a theme I love Pilates yeah this is gonna be my first time doing them but I went to um, this Pilates place in town that does like a free 30 minute like trial class and I really enjoyed it. And my mom actually like teaches Pilates, so I am aware of what they are and like how they work and kind of what the deal is. So, um, how do I describe Pilates? Pilates is like a workout. I'm doing it on the reformer. Like the basis high roll would have a park pool at a bistro. Nice. Girl, how do you stay awake to play every time you wake up this game? I'm asleep in minutes. This game helps me wake up. Storage shed. Fully pay off your home. And then upgrade your home storage to at least 2400 slots. And then you can buy it for 6,000 of miles. There's Mario. I always wait for your answer, Mario. <laughs> Morning, my theme is what Shan suggested to make an island I would like to visit. Yeah. My whole thing was because, like, we all started playing this in 2020, right? I assume, for the most part. 
when nobody um, could go anywhere or do anything. So my island was my escape. So I made a place that I would want to go. My island's a mix of everything I like. Yeah, the theme is you. If you missed the fireworks show last night, don't worry, there's one every Sunday night during the month of August. There's little prizes from Red's box that you can get for the raffle for 500 bells for each raffle ticket. And then you can get like a headband bopper in a different style. I have a whole list of the stuff Red has in his raffle box listed in the video I made about the fireworks. I just posted it yesterday. You gonna go live every Sunday night for the fireworks? Probably not. That was a rarity. I don't often do lives on Animal Crossing on the weekend. My island did look different before I started doing visiting days. I needed that big plot of land. Where all the veggies are, there used to be a different house there. And I got- I moved it to the other side of the island. Got the cute pink head barber and says, yes, I got the star one. I love it. I love the star one. That's the one I was hoping I would get. How long will you be streaming now? Only about an hour. I have a doctor's appointment this morning. I originally wasn't going to be able to because my doctor's appointment is starting before my work shift usually starts, but I usually, <laughs> my morning usually starts at like 6.15, I wake up, I shower, I get all set up, get ready to do this, and then I do this until about 8.30, from about 7 till about 8.30, 8.45, and then I get ready for work, put my scrubs on, whatever. But this morning, like, I showered pretty late yesterday to get ready to go out with the in-laws. So I didn't shower this morning. I'm trying to, like, reset my showering. So oh, I skipped that this morning, so I had time. When you want to stream, but they call you in twice. I know. Sounds like a great morning routine. Yes. I like my routine. I enjoy my routine. I am an x-ray tech. I do MRI full-time, also some x-ray, but I can also do CT, I can work in the OR. Actually, yesterday, one of my friends I used to work at Starbucks with texted me, and she asked if I would come and speak to some girls in her Girl Scout troop for, like, career day, because she knows how much I love my job. And I was like, that's so flattering, thank you. So I'm probably going to end up going and talking to a bunch of kids about my job. Um, <laughs> I need to text her back about that, actually. Very cool. I'm in veterinary medicine. That's so nice. I always said I could never work in vet med because I love, like animals can't tell you what's wrong with them. And it makes me sad when they don't feel good. But people are fine. <laughs> so cool. Thank you. This is Animal Crossing New Horizons on the Switch. People can't stop telling you what's wrong. No kidding. I wait till like 10 so I can check the Able Sister shop. Yeah, they never have anything I want anymore. Although yesterday I bought that kimono and that scary mask. Um, Becca, thank you for the gamepad and good morning. Yeah, Leanne, I've seen that too. It's super sad. You have to spend... You have to buy a hundred items from the Nook shopping like this. Not the Nook store. That is not a pine tree. As someone who grew up in the East Texas Piney Woods, You're very pretty, thank you. I see so much fingers hurting, don't want to grow less full moon for real, Mario. You know. You know.
kimono Halloween costume. It's just like a it's just like a kimono. They sell them during the um, during the fireworks. Kennedy, thank you for subscribing. An auto renewal subscription. Awesome! Oh my god, thank you so much. Kennedy, if you're in the Discord, shoot me a message there or like post in the general chat and be like, hey, this is Kennedy, and I'll add you into our subscriber group there. Yeah, the Hello Kitty stuff is from the Sanrio Amiibos, so once you scan the Amiibos in once, it's always there to purchase from your Nook Shopping. So I try to go through and buy, because you can only buy five items from that Nook Shopping every day, so I try to go through and buy a variety of the Sanrio stuff, because I open my island up once a month and let people come and like take all my extra stuff. And so, um, I try to buy the Sanrio stuff, because I know not everybody has that. Do you need no presses? I don't! Thank you, though! I mentioned I'm working out. I'm walking. Oh, the guy next to me on Stormaster is taking a work call. Ew. I would be too out of breath on a Stairmaster to take a work call, or any call for that matter, but good on him, I guess. That was one of my... See? Thank you. <laughs> no, but he is. I can't match what other people are thinking. <laughs> Speakerphones in public. Yes, drives me nuts. Yes. Let's see what we got. Clay! Hooray! No, I'm not redoing my island, just doing my normal morning stuff, kind of cleaning up, picking fruits, hitting rocks, the usual. Oh, I wonder if this is the money rock today. The Sanrio Amiibo cards can be purchased. I got, I just bought a set at like Target to put in my giveaway, but they come in a pack just like the blind packs of the Amiibo cards. They just have the Sanrio logos and stuff on them. And all the Sanrio ones are like the same six. I have my Switch hooked up through a capture card to my computer, and then I can stream it out through my computer. I would have loved to have slept all day. Hey, hey Louisiana, how are you? Yeah, you gotta dig the hole so you can get all eight items. It prevents the recoil. You can still do everything on a Switch Lite. You can't stream from a Switch Lite. Because I don't think there's an HDMI port on a Switch Lite. Elizabeth, thank you for the follow. I just got home from work. Nice. How to fish? You gotta get a fishing pole. And just walk up to the water and press A because A is the button you use to interact. And then you gotta wait for fish shadows. And you just kind of catch them when they snap onto your little bobber thing. How do you tell if the art is fake art? Excellent question. Y'all know what time it is? I gotta pick it up with my other hand. Hold on. I finally got the trash. Here's the oh, I threw it on the ground. Hold on. <laughs> Been trying and they walk away. Oh, you have to get them to like look at it and lock on to it. Okay. I tried Tears of the Kingdom. What do you think of Tears of the Kingdom? 
so let's see here. This guy's fake because he's got a shovel. Judging for the little bit of freedom of the game, I love that. Yes. Mona Lisa looks real. I'm pretty sure this is real. I want a closer look. Yeah, this is real. Okay. Yeah, I was able to- I woke up pretty early this morning and my doctor's appointment this morning. I have time. I didn't think I would. So, this is the Shibel. It's Shannon's Bible. I have lists in here. All the lists. This is paintings. Paintings. And this is sculptures. And how to tell the reels from the fakes. Okay? These are in my link tree. You can download these for free. They're just Google Docs. Download them and print them. And it will tell you exactly what you need to know. Um, but I've seen the Mona Lisa enough to know that like her eyebrows point down and she looks kind of angry on the fake one. So we're going to buy her. Because usually he only has like one real thing. Although... I might be wrong. The quaint painting. I want a closer look. This one might be real. I don't see this one enough to just know. The fake quaint painting has lots of milk. Okay, so this one is fake. I thought it was the opposite. There's too much milk coming out of that one. The stream is too much, exactly. I thought the real one had the thick stream and the fake one had the thin stream of milk, but it was wrong. Now this one has to do with the top hat guy. Girl, if you don't look at this painting. The amazing painting. And I think this one removes the top hat in the back if it's fake. The fake amazing painting removes the top hat from the figure in the center back. So this one's real too, so there's actually two real paintings here. Yeah, so this is real, because Top Hat Guy has his hat on. So which one should we get? Should we get the amazing painting, or should we get the Mona Lisa? The amazing painting. We want this one. I feel like I never see a real Mona Lisa. I don't need any of these, but we're gonna get that one. Bought a statue that is fake, so I put my brother, she already never noticed. That's funny. Yes, this statue is fake because he has a shovel. In the real one, he doesn't have anything. And then, like, the Michelangelo will have a watch on one arm if it's fake. And then, what is it? The victory one with the wings is mirrored, so you have to really check that one. I feel like the Mona Lisa is few and far in between, too, but... There's a lot of fake art. You gotta be really careful about the art. You gotta have a reference guide, like the Shibel. So yeah, the Shibel has um, lists for all your bugs, fish, and sea creatures as well to tell you when they're all available seasonally. So if you're into that kind of thing, go download them for free. Check them out. You completed your museum. Very nice. I've also completed my museum. I usually just buy those and throw them out. For people to take. I love her house so much. It's so cute. 
Yes, her name was Silvana. I love her. She's very cute. Where did we find her? Did we find her on a mystery island? I think so. Yeah, if you buy a fake one, you can't sell it. You can leave it out. Um, somehow I gave Carlos a fake painting because it's always in the middle of his house. Oh, that's funny. My island is called Skull Isle. So he's got... This painting in his house but it's not real the real ones have like a sticker on the back of them too that indicate that they're real oh my gosh he's got so much clutter look at that bidet just out in the middle of the room a bidet next to a surfboard Glad you enjoyed that, Carlos. Love you. Bye. <sighs> Man, I was supposed to be on call tonight, and somebody I swapped with somebody, and I'm so excited to not be on call. Is there anything in the game you don't have yet? Yes, I don't have all the DIYs yet. I'm close. I'm very close, but I don't have all the DIYs, and I'm kind of... I don't know, I wouldn't say I'm working on getting them all, but I have a list on my Nookazon, so when I open my island up, people always ask like what they can bring me, but I don't really need any bells or tickets or anything, so I just ask if they have extras of those DIYs that I would like to have them, but if not, it's no big deal. Okay, thanks, bye. Yes. <laughs> Wazowski! Oh, I love that. They just have like a big eyeball for their flag or something. Pepperonis are using a pizza flag. That's cute. A pizza flag would be cute. My island is called Skull Isle, but there's no skulls to be had anywhere. And I have like the skull wallpaper in my house, but my flag is cake. <coughs> Excuse me. I restarted my island and I deeply regret it. Our flag is Mike flipping everyone off. My brother made it. That's funny. Bless you, thank you. Yeah, it would be really cool if you could change your island name. I know a lot of people who want to change their island name. My shovel! French, that's cute. We're supposed to just get obsessed with it. Can't wait to get it a bit. Yes! Welcome to the obsession. 
I've got about 740 hours on my island. So, update got a ladder kit. So, hope you see you live this morning. Yes! Just gonna be kind of a shorter live this morning than we normally do, but. Once you hit a three star, you can terraform your island and it makes things a lot easier. Everyone comments about how big my island is, but I think it's because I only have two levels and a majority of my island is on a first level. Because you can go three levels high with the land, but um, here, like only this like top, I can't really show, only this little top area, like the top third of my island is on a second level, but everything else is the same level. Yeah, I have always carried my shed like a tool. I didn't realize other people didn't do that until I was streaming and people were like, why do you do that? But it just makes sense to me, so. Highly recommend. Lucky was one of my original villagers. Yes, I have him still. I think my other one was Alfonso, and I think I got rid of, I got rid of him. It was Lucky and Alfonso, yeah. I got Stinky, I had Diva, Drago, Tammy, Alice, Carlos, Anchovy, and Cyrano. Those were my original 10. And I still have a lot of them. So, your binder just made day. Thank you, Chow Man, thank you for the heart me. Because I used to, and I haven't kept up with it in so long, I had this spreadsheet that had like all my villagers and their personality and their birthday, favorite style, dislike style, and favorite color so I could be friends with them faster. And then I left all this extra space so I could just like write it in after my original 10. Then I had some notes on like how to give gifts, like minus two points. I mean, because, I mean points, you don't really know what points you have, but... A wrapped gift gets you an extra point. Frog villagers like umbrellas. Furniture is a good gift. Preferred styles and that kind of thing. And then, um, yeah. Carlos is my favorite villager. You don't want them all to stay? I don't. Sometimes you get auto-filled. If you don't have time, if like if you build a house or if somebody moves out, you don't have a chance to play. And then Tom Nook just auto fills it with somebody, and he puts a villager in that I don't like, and I want to get rid of him. So, villagers are so subjective. There are some villagers who tend to be like more popular and more highly desired, but it's all depends on what you like. Like Carlos is my favorite sweet boy, and I love him, but he's not very popular. Generally, he's not a beloved character, but he just is so sweet and I love him. <laughs> I got Alan, I hate him. Is he a gorilla? Yeah. I, I don't like any of the deep voiced villagers. I don't tend to like the birds. Uh, that kind of thing. I liked Alice. She was cool. She stayed for a long time before I got rid of her. I love Stitches and Hopkins. Stitches are popular, but not Hopkins. See, and I think Sti I'm, I'm not like cuckoo for Stitches. Sylvana, I ended up liking way more than I thought I would. Oh, I don't have a whole lot to sell, do I? Market range is just downright creepy. Ketchup is my all-time favorite. Ketchup is... I don't know Bettina. Oh, Kyle, and I like him. Got purple. I love her. Yeah, and I don't usually like, like, jock villagers, but I have Stinky, and he is one of my favorites. Like, he's not an annoying jock type, and I really like him. He's the only jock I have. I tend to have a lot of kind of grumpy villagers. I like the grumps. Good morning. I have not met Patty. So amiibo cards are the key to getting the villagers you want. They're also the key to getting rid of villagers. Hopkins went Animal Crossing Pocket Edition, buddy, for a long time before I could buy a Switch. Nice. 
we were, we were at a brewery weekend before last and we had to share a table with these people we didn't know because it was like the only spot to sit. And um, my husband kind of looks at the woman's phone next to him and he's like, she's like, yeah, and I was like, yeah, it's probably pocket camp. Like, <laughs> spent all day villager hunting, needed a cranky, spent six, 60,000 miles. Oh my gosh, and spike cups today. Oh my gosh. That's so many miles. Uh, Y'all, we caught a scorpion last night. Spent two hours talking Animal Crossing with someone I met at a bar a few weeks ago. I love that. So there's an there's an Animal Crossing like game on the phone called Pocket Camp. It's way different from my understanding. I've never played it. Uh, but there's also the Nintendo Online app you can get for your phone, so you can do some things in the Animal Crossing game. Like we can do. I think we can do this again because it's a new day. But it's just like the Nintendo Online, the red app right there. It looks just like the Nintendo logo. And then, um, my island rating is a four. You get your Nook link, and then it looks just like your Nook phone, your in-game Nook phone. Right? <laughs> Except, on your cell phone, there's this one here. I gotta change hands. That's like, it says Nook points, and you can tap it. And then you can collect your daily Nook points, and you can exchange Nook points for items that you can use in-game. I got ten points. So now I have 70 points. So there's all these different things you can buy with your points that you can then use in game. Just a few things. So let's buy the Nook door plate. So I'm gonna click on, where did it go? The door plate right here. Step, and then I'm going to order and say okay and then it should arrive in the mail so you can also use this like if you're playing online there's a keyboard option so you can type on your phone and I can say let me back out like hello and then my character speaks it instead of having to use the in-game keyboard. Type on phone. There you go. So, it makes it a lot easier. And I tend to use that to type when people come and visit my island because it's a lot easier than doing the keyboard and trying to like type like that. So, The regular Nintendo Online app. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I don't use it super often, but um, I definitely use the keyboard thing a lot when people come. This construction design tool, you have to be a three-star island, and then I think you have to, like, buy something from the Nook Miles. I think you get to terraform automatically, but you have to, like, buy extra paths and things. Let's stretch. Everybody up for some stretching? Oh, Cyrano's participating. That's new. New and different.
Did my stretching animal crossing before I have to log off? Nice. I do it when I can remember to just run by there and do it. No, I definitely won't be streaming tomorrow. I have to be at work at 6 a.m. for the rest of this week. So, no morning streams for the rest of the week, I promise. I wasn't sure I was going to be able to do this one, so I told y'all no, and then I was able to do it. Anna, thank you for subscribing! Oh my goodness, I appreciate that! You have a good day at work tomorrow. I'll be safe. Thank you. It'll be good. I don't normally work the morning shift, but it'll be nice to be off at 2.30. Oh my god, I can't wait to play Zelda. It's honestly, like, as annoying as stitches are, and itchy, and I, and, like, limiting, I'm just, like, all I want to do is play Zelda. <laughs> Thank you. I'm ready to get back to Zelda. Kind of brush the dust off. What's gonna do? Gotta drop the stuff off. In its respective spots. And place the Zelda date nice. No, she does not give in to peer pressure. She just stands there, lets y'all do all the stretching. So you know in the right spot. Yes, I had a cyst taken out of my thumb. I had a ganglion cyst in my thumb that I had removed almost two weeks ago. It'll be two weeks tomorrow. A bit farther into recovery. Nice. need to do for my Nook Miles today? <sighs> Complete DIY projects, chop wood, get fossils assessed. Let's do some DIYs. Funny about it, the same thing played until we got burnout. Yeah, that's true because I've played a lot but not nearly as much as some people and um, First time getting stitches and we hope that's covered as well. Thank you. I need to look at something first. Um, soft wood, iron nugget, and then gold, stone, tree branch. Just get a little bit of everything. Mm. Never played Dreamlight Valley. I don't think I needed branches. I don't think I needed hardwood, but we're gonna get that out too, just in case. Cause I don't remember. I'm hoping to play Tears of the Kingdom tonight, too. Hello, how are you? I'm okay, how are you? Maybe I did need a tree branch for that axe. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna stream tonight. I want to, it just depends. It's gonna be a long day. I love this content you do. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 
because I'm working till six. And then we'll see. Oh my goodness, excuse me. Now that I don't have to customize anymore, I'm gonna make more gold stuff because I have all this gold sitting in my, whatever that's called, storage shed. Oh, that's right, I don't have the gold shovel DIY. Save my gold for the Gundam, I love that, oh my gosh. Tap and share, thank you, yes. Sharing the live helps get it out there. Watching my videos really helps a lot too. I have a whole playlist of Animal Crossing tips that I think is very helpful. So checking those out, watching them for a minimum of five seconds. Very good. So the storage shed you can buy for 6,000 Nook Miles, but it's only available after you fully upgrade your home, and then you upgrade your home storage to at least 2,400 slots. So then the storage shed gives you access to your home storage from anywhere on your island. Okay, that more than satisfied that. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> Look at all those gold tools. Maybe one of these. This is Animal Crossing New Horizons on the Switch. Maybe one of these days I'll get that gold shovel DIY. So there's a few different ways to get amiibo cards. I have ordered some on Etsy from different shops and you can pick the villagers you want. And I have also purchased just like a big pack of them on Amazon of just random villagers. So it just kind of depends on how you want to purchase them. I think the pack I got on Amazon had like 80 different amiibo cards in it and it was like 30 bucks, something like that. But there's also like blind bags of amiibo, like actual amiibo cards you can buy from stores. I see them at my Target all the time. Your storage maxes out at 5,000. Jelly good. Let me see if I can reach my amiibos. So amiibos are actually these little characters like this. This is a Zelda amiibo. This is the Tears of the Kingdom amiibo. But they're these little statues of characters and they have an NFC chip in the bottom that your controller can read, your Joy-Cons. Not all controllers read amiibos, just be aware of that. Like I love this controller, but it doesn't read amiibos. So, but there's also amiibo cards like here's a set I got on Etsy these are also Zelda amiibos and these are kind of hard like a like a hotel key or something and so I've got a whole set of those then I also have mini amiibo cards these are tiny these are also Zelda amiibo cards and then 
these are the Sanrio official cards. There's six of them, and they're for use in Animal Crossing. But you can also use um, amiibo cards for Animal Crossing in Zelda, if you play Zelda. But yeah, these are the ones with the Sanrio on the back. You can see the little Hello Kitty bow on the amiibo logo. And then I got some amiibo coins that I had on an Etsy shop where I could cut, I could pick out the ones I wanted and so they sent me amiibo coins. And then these are mini amiibo cards and there's just a whole mess of them in here. But they're real small. Yeah. So there's a lot of amiibo choices out there. <laughs> started playing this game because of you. Thank you. I love this game. Yeah, they work. That's how we got Coco. That's how we got... So, if you want to get rid of a villager you don't like, I always recommend using amiibo cards. It's a three-day in-game process. I've heard of that as well. I have been lucky. I've never gotten a fake amiibo card. I haven't tried these new Breath of the Wild ones yet, or these new Tears of the Kingdom ones yet, but um, so far, yeah, the cards replicate the chip. It's an NFC chip. So <laughs> when you play Tears of the Kingdom, for those of y'all who were Zelda players, you can scan the amiibo ones, the amiibo ones, you can scan the Animal Crossing ones, and they will drop like materials to cook with, herbs and meat and whatever that kind of stuff. So I went through and I scanned every single amiibo card I had. All the Animal Crossing ones, all the Zelda ones, whatever. And every single one of them worked. So... Buck, thank you for the dancing cactus. Good morning. chests fall from the sky and sometimes they drop me stuff. Yeah, the actual Zelda amiibos drop chests. Um, I have a video on how I use amiibos to get rid of villagers I don't like. It's in my Animal Crossing Tips playlist. <laughs> Excuse me. I love when the fish gets slammed with the chest because I like the sound and then that fish is just like laying there. <laughs> I think it's really, really funny when that happens every time. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yes, I've gone back and looked at those Etsy stores and they're both closed. So otherwise I would totally recommend them. But there's a lot of Etsy shops that do it, and but at the same time, like, if there's a specific villager you have in mind, sure, go to Etsy and pick one out. But other than that, there's a lot of packs, like big packs you can buy on Animal, Cro of, um, Animal Crossing Amiibos from Amazon. That'll cost you 25 or 30 bucks, but at the same time, depending on how many specific villagers you're going to pick out from an Etsy shop plus shipping... Or if you just want to support a small business on Etsy, that's cool too. This is the Happy Home Paradise DLC. So you go to work on this vacation island, decorating vacation homes for people. But even if you don't come out to work every day, there's still um, daily tasks you need to come out here and do. Like there's a DIY on the beach. And then if you talk to, if you have the restaurant and you talk to the chef, um, then they'll give you a recipe. How many meals should I don't know. I it really just depends. I haven't bought amiibos from Etsy in a while. Like I haven't bought from Etsy in a in a while. In general, a lot of creators moved off Etsy as well. So there's that. Yeah, this is an expansion pack. It's the Happy Home Paradise expansion. You can download it from the eShop, or you can buy, like, a digital download code card. Hold 
Hold on. Let me show y'all. If you have the Nintendo Online Plus Expansion membership, it's included. But it's not for the basic Nintendo Online. So, where is it? Here we go. You could, I got this at Target. And it's this card. It's $24.99. And it, it gives you a like digital download code for Happy Home Paradise. And it's printed on the receipt. So... This is part of my giveaway, so whoever wins the Animal Crossing giveaway is going to get the DLC. So, I'm doing good, how are you? Yeah, oh, and here's the pack the Sanrio cards come in. I got this at Target as well. But, this has the six Amiibo cards in it that are all the Sanrio ones. And then there's also three months of Nintendo Online. And then some other cute stuff that I'm going to do as part of the giveaway. So, if I can get the zip back up, that would be great. It's just like my hand's not working. So, it's not open to enter yet, but here is a really cool switch case that's going to be in it, too. There's going to be like a big Animal Crossing giveaway, smaller Animal Crossing giveaway, a Tears of the Kingdom giveaway. Um, but it's going to be in my Discord, so you have to be in my Discord to win. And if you're a subscriber, you're going to get boosted in your odds of winning as well. But it's going to open up once I hit 20,000 followers, and we're only at 19,220. So we've got a little ways to go, but I like to buy things as I go. So I've been stocking up on stuff. Um... The Zelda giveaway has a really cool Switch case that I really like. And they're also going to get Nintendo Online and um, that kind of thing. My Discord is the same handle. It's linked in my bio. Sometimes the link can be a little finicky straight out of my link tree, so you might have to like copy-paste it into a web browser and try it that way. But as soon as I hit 20k, I'll open up the giveaway. I usually leave it open for a week and let people have a full week to, like, see it and join it and that kind of thing. And then, oh yeah, I can't lay that down here. And then one of my bots picks a winner for me. Monday, so we gotta go talk to Joan. Fifty turnips, thank you, Joan. So kind. This is Happy Home Paradise DLC, so you have to download it and play it enough. The hospital is one of the last amenities that you do, and then Joan is in the hospital every Monday and she'll give you turnips. So turnips are like the stock market. You want to buy low and sell high and make money. Denise Memorial Hospital. <laughs> someday yes <laughs> so there's like a coffee shop there's a hospital there's a restaurant a clothing store and a school those are like the five that you can make so I think the order is school coffee shop restaurant hospital clothing store So you design all of them. You can't pick where they go. They all go in the same spot on everybody's island. But you can decorate them however you want. Mm -hmm. 
Didn't you have those paw slippers last week, bro? Could have school found my second island. Nice. Yeah, the and then like if you go every day out there and you have all the amenities, the school teacher will give you a plant every day. You can find a bottle on the beach every day. You can get a recipe from your chef every day. Every Monday, Joan gives you turnips. Do you bring your own? No, you don't. It It's provided for you in the game. No, it's got to be outside. Is it a rotted turnip? That's true. You can use use fireworks as well. So it's got to be a rotten turnip. Or some people have luck with ants with leaving like candy out and um, I did a video on flies and ants and I laid them out kind of specifically where I left like a turnip and a boot and a turnip and a tire like touching each other and then a turnip by itself so like the turnip boot like tire combination I would have a fly flitting between the two and then the turnip by itself got ants it should be in my playlist. They're so small and hard to see. It's like we saw, I saw two mosquitoes last night on my island and they're so small. Yeah, I have videos on the fly and ant, on fleas, on tarantulas, which you can also apply to scorpions, uh, that kind of thing. What does Katrina's fortune actually do? It depends on the fortune. Some of the fortunes, the good fortunes, will give you, like, um, if you have luck with money, you'll sell items for more, it'll be worth more money to like Nook's Cranny and stuff so you'll make more bells. There's a good luck fortune where it'll increase your odds of having a good return on your money tree if you bury it after her fortune. Sometimes you'll go to a really cool mystery island like a star mystery island or a money mystery island. My island is five star, but I missed on buying the storage in Nook's Cranny. When will I able to buy it? The storage shed doesn't come from Nook's Cranny, and it doesn't have anything to do with your star rating. The storage shed comes when you have fully upgraded your home, and you've upgraded your home storage to at least 2,400 slots. Then you can buy the storage shed from the Nook Miles ATM. There we go, there's that door plate that we bought from the app. I don't know what the luck with friends means. best way to get bells let me tell you if you're in the northern hemisphere right now you should be catching all the bugs you can because there's gonna be a bug off happening in another couple weeks during the summer flick does a bug off in June July August and September and flick buys your bugs for hundred and fifty percent of what Nooks would buy them for. And Flick is an NPC that shows up randomly, but if you know when the bug off is going to be, he will buy all the extra bugs from your pockets, right? So you can plan ahead and fill your storage with bugs. Cassie, thank you for subscribing. I made 
722,000 bells on bugs during last month's bug off with just bells from with just bugs that I had stored from my pockets. Yeah, diving helps a lot, but saving your bugs and fish. But like specifically because you know a bug off is coming, you never know when Flick and CJ are going to be on your island. So when you know, use it to your advantage. Like plan. Uh, it's the third week of August. I have a couple different bug off videos. My original bug off video in like June has all the dates listed in it. It's always the third week of the month, the third Saturday of the month specifically. Um, someone asked about the fishing tournaments. So CJ does fishing tournaments seasonally. So there's one in spring, summer, fall, and winter. So the next one for Northern Hemisphere is going to be fall because we already had the summer one. <clears throat> my plan for my island? Just a vibe. Ooh, see, look, here's an orchid mantis. Looking at my island the day after the bug off. I'm like, dude, why can't we die? I know, right? It doesn't matter if Flick shows up before your bug off and you sell to him. He doesn't give you like more bells during the bug off. I'm just saying like use the knowledge to your advantage. Catch every wasp every day. Yes, good morning. A full 40 slot pocket, 40 slots full of wasps will net you 150,000 bells to Flick. So, there you go. Go make some bells. Do I have any gyroids to drop off? No. Oh, I had a possible to drop. Gold roses come from watering black roses with a gold watering can. And the gold watering can comes when you hit a five star island rating. Isabel will send it to you. Yeah, it's helpful to know how much the bugs are worth. I just save everything and then, um, in my shibel here, I've got lists of all the fish and bugs in the Critterpedia, and then as part of the list over here, it'll tell you on the end how many bells they're worth, and that's just if you sell them to Nook's Cranny, um, multiply it by 150% to get the flick total. So there you go. spot. There we go. I think they'll put out a new Animal Crossing if and when they release a new console. But I don't think it's going to be like what do they call those games that come out with consoles the way to, uh, Breath of the Wild was mm, they're not releasing any more DLCs for this one they made one and that's it they, Nintendo has said they're done with this game. Like, that's an announcement that Nintendo has made. So, they stopped. They stopped a while ago. They did a couple updates, and then they released a DLC, and then they said, alright, have fun, and then abandoned it. So...
Well, because the Switch came out in 2018. 2017. And then this game didn't release until sometime later. It released March of 2020. So like the Switch came out in 2017 and this didn't come out till 2020. So it's not an anchor game. It's not, yeah, I type fast with a bum hand. I'm a quick typer. <laughs> um, so anywho. All right, I gotta go get ready for doctor's appointments and work. So, yeah, I mean, we all assume that. I think there was somebody that some article somewhere that said um, that, like, the second half of twenty twenty four, they're talking about releasing another console, which makes sense because then it would be available for like Christmas of twenty twenty four, which is when you want consoles to come out, right? So, oh, stitches out, stitches out. That's what we want. Uh, <laughs> Thank y'all for being here. Thank you so much to my new subscribers, Cassie, Anna, Colby Blake. I did not see that you renewed your subscription. Thank you. I didn't even see you talking. Where have you been? Kennedy. Oh my God. We had a lot of new subscriptions today. Thank you guys so much. Oh, good luck with your appointment, Valerie. If you're new to the general vibe of things, my Discord is linked in my bio. That's where my giveaway is going to be happening once we get about 800 more followers. Um, if you're a sub, you get a special role in the discord, that kind of thing. So yeah, hit me up, watch my videos. Thank you for being here and have a great day.